Hey guys, it's Bill. Um, I just figured I'd go ahead and give you a little update. Um, as you can see, I have the water level and flow adjusted so that I'm not getting any of the cascading I had before. Um, I have just the regular filter screen down there, the sponge, with the uh, sponge around it. I just have a pipe standing up with the uh, other filter screen just kind of laid up in there. Um, I, ha I have now moved the black uh, top off line down so that it just goes down through a little clear tube and just drops into the middle of the water there. Just kind of gets that away. Show you what I've changed around in the sump. Um, I added a ball valve so that all the flow is basically going through this pipe. Nothing actually goes through this one, but it's still there just in case. Um, I just have it put down towards off the side, so that way it's out of the way when I have to change socks and stuff. I only have to move one. Um, skimmer's still in there. I did uh, throw the rock down in there, and as you can see, the uh, clowns have been banned to the sump. And uh, that's because they uh, just recently killed my uh, male mandarin, so... They have been exiled, and they can bite me. They can stay their little butts right down here and think about what they did. Uh, lucky they didn't ride the toilet. Um, anyway, so just kind of give you an idea, and kind of give you an idea of how much quieter it is now. So, I mean, the system is running at full power. Uh, let me go ahead and unplug the skimmer to give you a better idea. Alright, the return pump is still running. Mag 18 down there. Still pushing. It's still sucking. And it's still draining. No more splish splash, no more gurgling. It's funny how complete peace of mind can come at a $5 ball valve. Um, I prefer to put a gate valve here, but uh, Home Depot apparently doesn't carry gate valves. At least not ones without brass fittings, so... Ball valve it is, I guess. Alrighty.